Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Well, it's Bucky's time. We're here at the one in Ennis. If I said that correctly, I probably didn't. But it's Bucky's time. And I'm excited to show you this one as well as see this place for the first time myself. So let's park the truck and get on in there. But first, look at that Mustang. Holy smokes. That thing has seen better days. Hopefully, Everyone was all right. Well, that escalated quickly. All right, so that's the Ennis, Texas Bucky's. I haven't been in this one. I need to get a magnet. I'm gonna give you guys a store tour. And I gotta get some things for some of our friends. So let's go in there and see how this place looks. Oh yeah, love these places. You guys said you liked the Bucky's video, so I figured why not? Here's a couple more see what we got. I know they got a new anniversary shirt that I'm picking up for myself. Look at that. Oh. Hi. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The 40th anniversary shirt. It just came out yesterday. Got one in my size. We're picking that up. They even have children's sizes as well. They just released this a couple of days ago. Look, they even have the anniversary bows and socks. Pretty cool. So, another win. Like, I need another shirt, but what the heck. Let's do it. All right, and then since 4th of July just passed, we have the summer-themed shirts here for the ladies. I bet my mom would like one of those. Anyway, let's go down this way. This one is laid out exactly like the other ones we've been to. The Melissa one that I did a video at a couple of years ago, that's the one that's uh, different. It's laid out in the reverse order. But as you see, compared to the other ones that we've done videos at recently, they're laid out basically the same, which I like. They have a default set, a layout, and it makes it easy to go through these things. You know how, like, a lot of department stores, they try to keep a concept, but oftentimes their store layouts are different. I'll tell you, the one thing I like about being in here today is that it's since it's a Wednesday afternoon, it's very calm in here, nice and quiet. If this was the weekend, oh, this would be jam-packed. Now, in the other video I was saying, I got these. I thought they would be better. I wasn't wild about them. But that's trial and error. You get things you like them. If you don't, you don't get them again. Now, these I like, and these as well. Those are delicious. And if you saw in the last video, I found a bag of these. They were really good, too. So, anyway, let's move on. Got lots of candy in here. They got their own candy, too. Good old section of Bucky's candies. Gummy butterflies. That's a first. <laughs> There's that Cosmic Pops candy again, too. And then I got more up here. The yogurt-covered pretzels. Very good. I wonder if they'll have banana pudding, uh, that banana pudding thing I was looking for. Maybe. Let's go work our way up that way and see. And I think I'll definitely do a sweet tea today. I didn't get one the last couple of times, but I think today I will. Look at that. Fudge. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some good look. And cookies. Loving the shirts that they have laid out for the 40th anniversary. And uh, the standard Bucky's. Got your display. They got the cups. These are. Sure. These are color changing tumblers here. And they got their coffee mugs. These ones are funny, though. I can't say that I'll buy myself one of those, though. Anyway, let's look over here at this. We have coconut cream pie, key lime pie, chocolate. I wouldn't mind trying the chocolate one. I bet that's good. No uh, banana pudding. 
but the sandwiches look good. So do the sauces and steak rubs and the brisket. Now, I don't know where they have it laid out. They, I think they have it laid out a little differently. I got the chicken sandwich last time. I got this. It was okay. I thought it would be better, but it was okay. Not too bad. Pecans, cashews, almonds. They got all that. Made to Now, they introduced a new breakfast item, too. I'm curious to see if it's available all day or if it's only an afternoon or a morning thing. I mean, it doesn't look like it. I'm sure it might have been up here, maybe. Grilled cheese. It's cool that you can order all this. And somebody made it a point on the uh, Bucky's Fanatics group on Facebook. You can get made-to-order food, or you can get food that's already been prepared. That's what makes this place awesome. If you don't want anything special, you want something simple, they have them ready to go. So, that is cool. Beef jerky bar. There's that sausage there that we saw at the other location. Very good. Um, the beef jerky wall. Gotta love the beef jerky wall. Let's see, do they have banana pudding on here? I don't think so. I see the coconut pie ones. It throws me off because it looks like it would be banana pudding, but it's not. But they have these cold sandwiches. They have potato salad, chicken salad, candied jalapeno cream cheese. I don't see banana pudding, though. Bummer. <sighs> Get my hopes up. <laughs> That's okay. All right, now I'm going to take you into the souvenirs. And even though most of the time it's the same things, I can tell you this. Being a couple of days after 4th of July, they got a lot of new merchandise in, a lot of new shirts. You saw the 40th anniversary one. And, well, they got some other cool items, too. So let's go back here and check it out. Bucky's waiting. <laughs> so the 4th of July passed, and they took down their patriotic displays. And now they just have summer seasonal themed texas themed items the cowboy hats this is actually my size seven and a half made in mexico i'm just curious how much it is forty dollars see and those are mass produced the ones i got were hand was uh handcrafted anyway that's okay that's great for the tourists though they have these pop socket wallets kayla has one on her phone she loves it it's this one right here she loves it. And sh you can change out the little pop socket part. It twists off, and you can put any of these other ones on because she switched to that one. And uh, she really likes it a lot. And, oh, geez, they brought these back. The Bucky's Popper. That would be great to tease the cat with. They have the seat belt. I, don't, it, I can't think of what it's called, but you put this on a seat belt so it's not so harsh on your, like, neck or whatever. Yeah, see, look at all the different designs they have. I like the camo one. They have a bunch. They even have the straight black ones or blank ones or even marble. Whatever you like. Anyway, let's go look at the cool stuff here. The license plate on there is cool. Look at all the uh, swimwear here. You know, I grabbed that shirt. I got that for my mom. Anyway, she loves it. They got the swimsuit here. Thanks for stopping. You know it. The swim trunks were cool. Now, while these shirts are the same... Oh, and by the way, let's look. When did the Ennis one open? 2020. So this is a newer one. Okay, cool. I want to go to one of the original ones that are still open. They're smaller. And, oh, my gosh. I, I would love to see those. Now, this one has uh, some cool new stickers. I like this one here. I didn't see this at the other location with the Texas flag on it. We grabbed that one. I grabbed those in the past. And I'll tell you what. I put one of these on my car months ago, and it's still holding up. Look at the Bucky's bottle opener. Oh, it's a magnet, too, I think. Yes, it is. So that's cool. Fix that. Then I got the keychain version, too. And as for clothing... Like I said, these ones are the same up here. Basically the same up here. And they have all, they even have shorts now. Pants for the little ones. Look at the little baby hats here. Little socks and bibs and whatnot. Everybody's included. But back here I noticed some new items that I didn't see until today. Like the hoodie up there, which is that one right there. And then over here... We have these 
donut disturb. <laughs> the donuts. Bucky snacks and naps. Those are new. I haven't seen those at the other locations we've been to. The new stickers. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that one either. Texas Forever. That's cool. For the most part, they have the same items, but sometimes you do get lucky and find things at some locations that you don't find at others. But for the main part, it's still a big tourist trap. Look at this. It's Christmas already. There's Santa Bucky. And we got one of those ornaments on our tree. It lights up, too. Yeah, these ones do, too. I think ours is like this one here. Very cool. And then this I didn't see. The Bucky's apron. That's very cool. Very nice. And I was even thinking, not that I need any more shirts, but I thought, what if I got this? It's only 25 bucks. <laughs> Realistically, though, I don't know when I would wear it that much. As cool as it is, but we'll see. I might still get one. I say I might get one, and you know it's going to happen. I will get one. Oh, got the blankets, got the buckies. I know my friend Pac wanted one of these, so I'm going to grab him one. And can't forget the magnet. I'm doing a thing where I'm collecting them from every location that I go to. So got my Ennis, Texas location magnet. And even though they all look the same, I like getting them with all the different names on them to show all the ones I've visited. They still got tons of shoes. That's one thing I, I won't do. Is, but as cool as they are, I'm good on that. But with back to school being pushed already, which is uh, sad, uh, they got plenty of backpacks. And just like at the other location up in Denton, they have them up front too. And we'll work our way up there as we get through the toys. Let's count Texas. <laughs> yeah, I got all kinds of toys here. Great Texas A&M, all the sports teams, obviously for the DFW area. So you got those. I still say this magnet's pretty cool. I like that. And... Uh, got the Texas Rangers and let's work our way up to the shirts that I had mentioned got Columbia brand here the Texas artwork love it these Texas shirts here now even though they don't say Bucky's on them they're Texas themed and they're pretty cool I know Kayla grabbed a couple in the past Texas y'all look at that not Texas nope still not Texas definitely not Texas nope <laughs> living the dream they got a bunch, too. Texas made. This one here, too, is pretty... I like that one with the cities on it. Very cool. But they have a bunch. Good selection. Look at that with the dog on it. Anyway, yeah, here's uh, the backpacks up here, if you didn't see them in the other video. They got the Texas flag one, the traditional Bucky's Spots logo, anyway all over it. There's my hat that I'm wearing right now. I love that hat. I freaking love that thing. I picked that shirt up on the last trip. Oh, I have so many shirts now. It's ridiculous. But that's what happens. I even have that one. And I was going to start doing these, but that's just so many more shirts. But I do like the fact that they do them in different colors for each location. That's cool. Here are these shirts here. I don't remember seeing these two, or at least that one anyway, for the uh, ladies there. Pretty cool. I like it. They got bandanas, keychains, can coolies, all Texas themed, magnets, like that. San Antonio, the Alamo. That's very cool, all the different cities. These ones here, don't mess with Texas. Very cool. I like that. And and when you go to the ones out of state, they represent that state. Like the ones in the one we went to in Kentucky and Richmond there, they had all Kentucky themed items in there, which I liked a lot. You know how much nicer and easier it is to do these Bucky's videos on a weekday versus the weekend? I mean it's just so nice. I can walk around here and I'm not getting trampled by six hundred and thirty three thousand people. So I officially need a cart and hopefully this isn't one that likes to go to the right like that other one did at the other location. Let's see. Uh, it's all right, I guess. I guess we can make do with it. Anyway, now we're over by our general store area here. You got all the works here. Got all the works here, everywhere you look. You've seen these shirts in the other locations as well, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll work my way up through this main aisle. Cooler and removable Bluetooth speaker 
bag. Yeah, it holds up to 14 cans. Very cool. I like the camo ones as well. And look, just like with the other locations too, let me, before I forget, go back here and I'll give you a quick rundown of the items that they have in here. The sunglasses are top notch. They have tons. Can I squeeze through here? Yeah, just barely. I know my friend wanted one of these too. So get those for pack. I gotta get him his uh, Bucky. Yeah, look at all the goodies they have in here. Great uh, for the fishers out there. Lots of camping and target practice, all kinds of outdoorsy type stuff. I saw something different too. I saw something with Bucky on it. I don't know what it was. Oop, knocking stuff over. Let's see, what was this? Oh, little slap, a slap coley for your can. That's cool. That's the first time seeing that. Home. Maybe one day I will call this place home. I sure do like it here a lot. It's seriously an addiction. I just keep buying stuff every time I walk in here. Now I know I got a couple things from my friends and I only have one shirt and that magnet for myself yet. I know it's only uh, a matter of time until I grab more stuff that I don't really need. Like that Hawaiian shirt, probably. I'm waiting on Kayla to see what she says because she's not with me. She's hanging out with her friend that uh, she never gets to see because we live in Pittsburgh and her friend Demita lives down here. So they're having a girl's day out. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for her. She's having a good time. She keeps texting me whenever they're going to do something. They got snow cones, so I'm hoping they're enjoying that. And I figured I'm, I'll do a Bucky's video for you guys. And uh, since I'm not too far from the Terrell location or Terrell location, however you say that, I'm going to go there too. So you'll see a video from that one. But anyway, I'll wait her response and see if I get that shirt or not. Anyway, there's the general store. I love the summer nautical themed items on this display. I've never seen these before. That's pretty cool. Then I saw this, this wall art here. A house is not a home without a cat. Look at this one. I think my aunt would like this. Welcome to our campsite. That's pretty cool. Get a good look at this place. By the way, I didn't realize those things on there were from Yellowstone. That's awesome. I just started watching that program thanks to Kayla's dad. But anyway, take a look at this place. I never, ever see them this empty. This is a Wednesday evening about 6 o'clock. This place is really empty, but I'll take it. It doesn't happen all too often. On a weekend, this will be a madhouse the entire day. Now, I imagine the only other times it's uh, empty like this is at nighttime too, maybe early morning, but that's nuts how busy it gets. And then for it to be like this, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy to me. So, but it gives us a better chance to look at more things in here, even though the video will be quite long. <laughs> I don't mind though. I don't mind. I just love their general store here. Look at this silicone non-slip jar opener. That's cool. Wow, that really does stick. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now they just need a Bucky's wind chime. Check out the cool bandanas they have, guys. I didn't see these before. I don't think I did any. I might have. Who am I kidding? Yeah, no. <laughs> That's cool. They got a bunch. Then they still got the neck gaiters. Buy three, get one free. Oh, those are bandanas down there. Here they are over here. And masks. You know, hey, if people feel comfortable wearing them, wear them. If you don't want to wear it, don't. You do what you want to do. I respect your decision either way. But... You know you can get them here, and you can buy three, get one free. Hmm, do I do it or not? Do I get a brisket sandwich or not? I only get to enjoy them for a few more days, and it's not like I get to do them all the time, nor do I eat this unhealthy all the time, but do I do it or not? I think I will. <laughs> Chopped brisket sandwich and a sweet tea have been acquired, and on that note, it is time to get on out of here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You want to hold my drink, Bucky? All right, thanks. You the man. One thing I wanted to note about this location before I head on out, too. Look at how many fuel pumps they have. You saw just how many were down that way, right? Then you have an opening here for people getting in off the highway. Then you got more pumps over here. And then you got more over here on the side. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a lot of fuel pumps at this one. 
and if you saw the video that we did at the Richmond, Kentucky location, you saw there were a ton there as well. Wow. All right, well, I'm back in the truck now. We're going to wrap it up. I'm going to enjoy this chopped brisket sandwich, and I'll see you later, Buck. I'll see them in about 45 minutes at the Terrell location, or Terrell location, however you pronounce it. So from Ennis to Terrell, what the heck? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, everybody, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a Buckylicious day. Bye, everyone.